So, we have a little bit of a situation. You saw me up on the roof with the broom in the last video and uh, scraping and scrubbing, trying to get that moss off the roof. And it was minimal. This was like only like two days ago. We had some rain yesterday and overnight. And then this is what I woke up to this morning. Can you guys see? We have moss growing on our roof. This isn't something new. This has been a problem that we've been dealing with since we moved into the cabin. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying a combination of uh, water, bleach, and uh, soap, uh, like dishwashing uh, detergent. And uh, not too much soap, because, <laughs> you know, but uh, just a little bit. And uh, apparently the combination, uh, I did some research, the combination of the soap with the bleach and the water applied to the, to the um, you know, moss over the, the roofing tile, it's supposed to kill it. Um, I'll believe it when I see it, but nevertheless, that is what I'm going to be doing because um, I can't, we're, we're not in the market for a roof at the moment. So uh, I'll give you a little bit closer look so you can see what's happening. You see? It's pretty bad. Got my buckets here with water and the bleach is up there because I figure I might as well mix it all up when I get up on the roof. I don't want to do it down here and then have to carry it up the ladder and possibly spill the bleach all over me, which is possible. But um, I mean, I just want to show you, like, even like right here, all of this. Thing. It's very unfortunate because it's going to kill our tile, it's going to kill our roof um, in no time. So unless, unless I can get that resolved, our, we need a new roof regardless. But if I can at least right now, for now, get the moss to kill the moss uh, you know it helped that when I after I moved in I cut the branches off this uh, large oak over here if you've seen previous videos you probably remember but um, unfortunately that is a problem that persists and um, we'll give it a shot you know I mean I don't have you know a dollar for the bleach it's worth a shot and um, People are shooting their guns today. So I just dumped the first bucket. Water, bleach, and soap. And it's, uh, I'm just kind of pouring it up at the top and letting it run down. And then go with, over it with the broom and try to scrub it in there a little bit. But uh, it should do it, hopefully. Hopefully the bleach will kill it. But this is a real problem because, because you see, and this is, this just grew like overnight. It wasn't there, I promise you. I was up here two days ago, put this chimney cap on and uh, then, you know, I'm missing some tiles here. So I have to come up here and replace those, but I don't have any roofing nails right now. And. Uh, This is not good. This is not a, I mean. It's a problem. Missing a bunch of tiles down here at the bottom. You 
that right there. Over here, we're missing tiles. I'm just praying that we don't start having leaks because of this, because that's ultimately what's going to happen. We'll have a leaky roof. But look at this, guys. Look at this. See this? And it's like right on the, you can't even like scraping, it won't come off because it's so compacted in there. In between the grooves of the tile. That's why we need a metal roof because with the metal roof, we won't have this problem because the moss doesn't have anything to attach to. So I'll keep uh, applying this and uh, to keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> So I treated the whole roof, this side of the roof anyway, because the other side doesn't have any moss. It's just this side here. It's a little soapy, but it's supposed to work with the bleach and the soap, so we'll see. And I dumped a good bit, so we'll see what happens. And I'm thinking later on, I might go back up there with the power washer and try to power wash it a little bit. It's not a very powerful uh, stream of water, it's, so it should be okay. They say not to do it with the you know, power washer on those kind of shingles, but, um, but I'm gonna do it anyway because um, I'm pretty desperate and it's growing out of control. So uh, if I don't do something, we're not going to have a roof come summer. So we'll see what happens with it. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, if I have to do it again, I'll do it again. I have another gallon of bleach. I used a whole gallon. And um, I have one more. Let me show you what kind of bleach I used. Great value from Walmart. Cheap bleach, more concentrated. The thing you have to look for is this. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Cleans and sanitizes. So I think this is the correct type of bleach to use. So this morning, Pink and I and the pup went for a little walk we started walking again a few days ago. We tried to go for a little, it's a short walk, but just to the end of the road and back. And uh, you gotta start somewhere, right? So I'm gonna try to get back in shape because I need to. So we have a real problem with moss here. Like we have moss growing under these trees. It's pretty on the grass. Not so pretty when it's on your roof. I don't know if you, guys realize it or not maybe some of you prices of lumber went up again so i'm really bummed um just like overnight i mean uh, i think I, we just bought some lumber a week ago and it was under five dollars a, a board for a two by four by eight and uh, the cheap ones you know and standard two buys and now they're almost six dollars so it sucks and then the treated lumber is even more expensive now but anyways we got sheeting plywood flashing 
I got roofing tiles because I'm going to use roofing tiles. I decided for the next project. What's the next project? Uh, I don't know if you realize, but we are badly in need of a shed. And I mentioned it on the last video that we need to build a shed. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a shed. And um, it's going to be a 6x8 shed. Look at this poor van, guys. It's squatting down pretty good. Uh, she's used to it by now. I really need a truck. That's what I need. Anyhow, I'm going to start unloading and uh, try to get myself organized. I was going to spare everybody the agony of watching me unload. I want to show them how we packed the car. I did. Oh, did you? But yeah, but they, yeah. One of the best investments ever was getting this van. Yeah. She does really good. She holds a lot of stuff considering it's a minivan. Yeah, I mean, we got eight footers. Eight footers in here. I want to get the panels in first. Yeah. And then Where'd you go? Oh, there you go. I was like, where'd you go? He disappeared on me. Hiding in the corner, huh? Yeah. Here. Here. He thinks he got it. It's still on the table. He thinks he got it. Chicho. <laughs> It's over here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got it. Oh, finally. It was about time. <laughs>